Up until today, we only knew it was a pest that prompted Crystal, Crystal Springs Elementary to start preparing food off-site. Now, we know it was a roach, and today we are hearing from parents who say they were not notified, but the school is counteracting that. They say they actually sent home a letter, and they also made automated phone calls. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell is joining us live from that school tonight. Elizabeth, what is being done now? Well, Lindsay and Tark, I first want to mention this all surfaced yesterday, and the main question that parents had was, what type of a pest was this? We did learn today it was a cockroach, and the school district says they took action immediately yesterday, and they are taking all proper steps to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Actually, on my way now to bring her. I'm going to go get her some lunch and then bring it back to the school. Joanna Madero says her little girl won't be eating school lunch anytime soon after the district announced yesterday that pests, which we learned today was a single roach, were found in students' food on Monday at Crystal Springs Elementary School on the west side. The district says on Tuesday parents were alerted of the incident by an automated call and a letter, but Madero and other parents, including Tiffany Rains, say they didn't receive either. And it never was a call to my husband, to myself. I checked the voicemail at home. I asked him, I said, go through your phone to make sure they didn't call because I didn't know about it until he pulled it up on News for Jax. The district says if a parent didn't get an automated phone call, it could be because their contact information isn't updated with the school. It's the parent or guardian's responsibility to make sure the school always has their most recent phone number if they wish to receive the automated phone calls. As for the letter, the district says it was sent home with the children. So if a parent didn't receive one, it likely wasn't given to them by the student. School officials say food is now being prepared at the Duval County Public Schools Nutrition Services Center. They don't have a time frame as to when the cafeteria can resume food prep operations, just that they hope to have everything cleaned, sanitized, and back to normal operations as soon as possible. Heather Skye says her third grade son has been at the school since kindergarten. She says today she has unanswered questions. Now this is kind of disappointing because, yeah. I mean, it's been a good school for him. in home yesterday and that automated telephone call said any parents that still have questions or concerns could reach out to the principal of the school and the district tells me today they still encourage parents to do that saying the principal is there to answer questions reporting live from the west side elizabeth campbell channel 4 the local station Elizabeth, I know we all were checking with the district on this one because so many parents were concerned. And the district told us that it is possible that maybe parents didn't update their contact information or they had possibly opted out of getting these alerts. So that was a big question here. Can you choose to opt out of alerts? Lindsay, you can, and the district tells me that many parents do opt out of those alerts because they're not just for severe incidents. They also send alerts sometimes for school activities and school events that are upcoming. So because of that, many parents don't want those notifications, but the school district reminds if you opt out of those notifications, you are not going to get any of them, including the ones that are more serious. Lindsay. All right, Elizabeth Campbell reporting for us live tonight. Thank you.